Morning News. Well, you know, if anybody knows in this building, mm. we know that there is no better way to ring in the new year than with some sparkling champagne. Today, we're walking through some of the most affordable options for your New Year's Eve celebrations. Sommelier Belinda Chang joins us now with more. Hi, Belinda. Hi, Belinda. Thanks for joining us. Oh, amazing champagne tower. Love it. <gasps> Well, no one is allowed to run in my studio for the next few days. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute. I love it. So tell us about how we can celebrate with the proper champagne. So I live my whole life for this week and also for <laughs> years. We get to take all of the decor and coops out of hibernation. And of course, what is best in a champagne tower or in any coop glass or for one of these celebrations than a bottle of bubbly. And of course, you can go crazy and spend a whole mortgage or two worth on a bottle of champagne. But we're so lucky that there are so many great sparkling wines for every budget. So I brought a couple that I think are pretty easy on the pocketbook, but also delicious. And we're also going to throw a couple of them into a cocktail, too, for okay. another way to celebrate with fizzy and bubbly this year. Belinda, well, first explain to us the difference between champagne and sparkling. Yeah, for sure. So it's definitely, definitely a geographical thing, right? Champagne is in the northeast of France. They use a classic set of grapes. They use Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Pinot Meunier, and they also age the sparkling wines in the bottles for a very long time. But what is super cool is we have all these women winemakers making world-class bubbly here in the U.S., like the J, which we're going to try together, which is made by Nicole Hitchcock, and she uses those same grapes, and this one ages for 24 months in the cellars Ooh. in Sonoma before it even gets to us. So it's mature. We love maturity <laughs> in wine especially and really delicious. But there are also kind of some simpler ones like this Corbel. You know, you've all seen this little bottle everywhere. You can buy it in all the stores where you can find wine, fine and easy. Yeah. And I love that they make these little mini bottles, 187 mil. So if you're socially distancing, you don't want to share bottles right now to be a little safer. This is a great way to do it because everyone can have their own, which I right. think is so fun. All right, and so sparkling wines are more just fizzy wine where champagne has to come from a certain region in France. Exactly. So, you know, Corbel comes from California. There's Prosecco from Italy, Cava from Spain. Most regions all over the world have their version of sparkling, but not all of them are made in that champagne method or what we call the traditional method. There's lots of ways to get those bubbles in there. Well, Belinda, we're ready. What are you making for us? <laughs> Well, let's do it. So I'm going to first open a little of this Corbel. So they've got these mini 187 mils, you know, just a perfect glass or so. And I'm also going to open a little bit of this Cali, which is made from mostly Pinot Noir, a little Chardonnay and Morved. And then we're going to use them as a topper for my cocktail. Okay. So this one's a little fizz. So I'm going to put a little ice into my shaker. We've got the good cocktail ice. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Right? Everyone's I love got wonderful barware. Oh, thank you. I mean, rose gold, girls. Yes. We <laughs> love it. So I'm going to do two ounces of a lemon and simple syrup mix. So I love all the citrus during winter time. You know, like we have beautiful blood oranges and the lemons and limes are so good right now. Uh -huh. And then you can use any spirit for this. And we're going to be topping with our sparkling wine. I'm using gin and we infused our gin with a bit of saffron to make it kind of yellow and festive and beautiful. Okay. So, so in my case, I would use either the vodka or the rum. What oh. about you? See, I'm not a gin girl. Um, I'll yeah. use it all. Can okay. I add extra? <laughs> <laughs> and then because we're doing fizzy and bubbly, get fizzy, I'm also putting in a little bit of egg white because I love, egg you know, white. those cocktails that oh, have foam, mm. right? Like okay, that. okay. That's what the egg white does. It doesn't change the taste. It just gives it the foam. Mm -hmm. That's healthy and that fun texture, you know, the little mustache you get. Yes. We're just going to shake this up, okay? All right, here we go. That's a good shake. Shake yeah, it. Yeah, because see, she has the really good ice. It's that one piece, so you <laughs> mm -hmm. don't hear it jangling in there. I hear you jangling right now. That's you. Is that you? No, me? that's you. <laughs> All right. So you. Now 
I'm pouring this into my coupe glass because that's so festive and it's already a little foamy. Yeah. And then we're gonna do that trick, which I think is so fun. You know, I love to drink these sparkling wines by themselves, but we also love to royale the cocktails, which means to top it up with this little bit of Corbel to make it even fizzier on top and super festive. Oh, wow. look at that. And she poured it perfectly so it didn't roll over the sides. It's so gorgeous. Easy. All right, so I'm gonna have a sip of that. because Well, know. I know we're running out of time, but just any tricks on how to actually pour champagne on a champagne tower? Yes, so you're gonna go from the top and if you did it perfectly, if everything's even, it's gonna stream beautifully down. So I'm using my J from Jordan and Sonoma to pour this beautiful tower eventually and try not to short circuit things in my house. But if it's all evenly put together, you're going to end up with a really beautiful, momentous. Okay, real moment. quickly, how do you stack it? Can you show us to the one that's on your left? How yes, you stack of course. It? Yeah. So you want to make even squares. So you're going to start with like a three by three, and then a two by two, and then a one, or six by six, five by five, four by four. Make sure that they're all close together. They all need to be touching to make perfect squares, and then you'll be stacked. And don't use your nice glassware for this. I got some fun, cheap and cheerful Libby glasses here, and it's really easy. And if it falls apart, you're okay. Okay, <laughs> cool. So then you just pour it in the top, and it just goes down to each room. Like a yeah. waterfall. Wow. Yeah. So Lin fun. Yeah, tell me about it. That is so cool. Thanks so much, Belinda. Cheers. 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 I love it. That's so fabulous. Yeah. She has a lot of great virtual um, events that she does. This is too. you. It's, it's me? not me. I I'm like, I'm not doing it. It's you. Me? You've been I, sipping I, on the Corbo. I feel like I'm from the Whoville. Okay. <laughs> All right, coming up, holiday party fashion ideas.